Hi, it's Joni here again. I'm um, very excited to be uh, doing this video for you because I'm going to share uh, about an instrument called the Emotional Guidance System. And I, I've made reference to it in some of the other videos, but um, this is very specific to this uh, this tool that I use on a daily regular basis with myself and other people that I didn't learn it in graduate school for my psychology degree or um, when I got my teaching degree and yet it's the most profound information that I know of in understanding our emotions. Now if we want to have a magnificent life it's important that we know what our emotions stand for. Our emotions tell us moment by moment whether something that we are thinking or something that we are doing whether or not it's good for us. If we are feeling good about something we know that this is in alignment with our higher self. If we don't feel good about something we know that this is in alignment this is not in alignment that we either have a thought or we're having an experience that's going against our own well-being. Now, to just back up for a minute and to make a very bold statement, which is all of us are given this life to be happy, to be joyous, to be over the moon with excitement about where we're headed and satisfied with where we are. And so that is, one will be able to do that more and more on a consistent basis if we understand this whole notion of how to use our emotions to attract into our lives exactly what we're wanting. Now, the third stage in attracting what we want into our life is the state of allowing. And we allow into our lives things that are wonderful when we are in positive emotion. And so getting ourselves into a high feeling place on a regular basis is the best kind of work that you can do to help yourself be well and to help yourself have a happy life. So because that's our true nature. It, it is truly our nature to be happy and joyful and loving and caring. And whenever we are not these things, that's an indication that we've moved astray, that we have, we're out of alignment with who we really are. Now when we look at the whole area of emotions, this emotional guidance system I'm going to teach you, it ranges from depression at the bottom all the way up to, into joy and love at the top. In between depression and joy is all kinds of other kinds of emotion. Now depression feels so awful that we, we have the sense that we're being suffocated. It is the worst feeling and any of you that ever have ever been in depression know what I'm talking about. And as you move from depression all the way up into joy, there's many more emotions that are on the path. Many people try to make a jump from say a depression all the way into joy and that is a huge vibrational leap that generally most people can't do and so and, and in fact if you try to do it sometimes you can even go further into despair so um, I'm just going to give you a few of the emotions along this scale so let's look at another emotion that's go, as you go up the scale from depression Anger, for instance. Anger is an emotion that has a higher vibrational frequency. There's more energy in anger than there is in depression. Most of you would agree that if you've been depressed and then angry, that anger feels better than depression. Now, you don't want to stay in anger, but you want to celebrate the fact that you've moved out of depression if that, if, you know, when you've ever done that. Now, another emotion along this scale is blame. Now, Everyone has been in the place where you have blamed someone else for something that's happened to you, whether it's the government or your parents or uh, a friend or whatever. Um, and 
those of us that understand that we are the creator of our own reality know that blame is just a set of thoughts that they're, it's not accurate. This person isn't really responsible for what's happened to us. Um, but th this is an emotional state that we're in and blame feels better than anger, for instance, or depression. Um, and then if we move up even further, frustration or disappointment, those are two emotions that feel better than anger or blame or depression. So we are moving up this emotional scale and probably a median um, emotion like boredom, we could say that that's in the middle of the scale. And then we start to move into the positive emotions like um, hopefulness, trusting, knowing, um, happiness, joy, and love. These are all positive emotions and these are our true state. When we are in love with life or even in love with another, we get this feeling that is just so exhilarating that, and the reason it's exhilarating is because it is our true state. This is who we really are. This feeling of of love that we most of us have experienced. And when I talk about the state of allowing, which is the third step in, in, in the manifestational process of bringing something into our reality, um, this state of allowing, when we're in positive emotion, everything we want comes forth. That's the state that, that our desires can manifest quickly, easily, effortlessly. We can create from a negative state, but it is so hard. It's such hard work. It's like paddling upstream on the river. You know you've got to work so much harder when you're in a negative state than when you're in a positive state. When you're in a positive state, you just do things because you are inspired. You can't not do them. When you feel like you just can't not do something, that's the time to act because that's your guidance system, your emotional guidance system saying, act now. Most of us act way too much, way more than we actually need to. The only time to really uh, act, and I'm not encouraging any of you to stop the action part of your life, but I'm encouraging you to act a little less and to start feeling a little bit more. When you start to feel those positive emotions and you start to feel inspired, that's when to act. If you try to act when you're in a negative state, you're going the wrong way towards your own happiness. You may end up getting there wherever you're headed, but it will take you twice, way more than twice as long. It will take you a long time. So we want this life to be you know, easy and effortless and fun. And life is supposed to be fun. And we allow it to be fun when we're in high positive emotion. So this emotional guidance system is truly within all of us. It is what tells us on a moment-to-moment -moment basis how we are doing, how um, if we're moving towards our happiness or away from our happiness. It's important to listen to this guidance system. It's important to know that on a moment-by-moment -moment basis we are being guided to what's best for us and it's important to listen and go within and feel those emotions and help ourselves move on a regular basis into a feeling place that is a um, positive feeling place. That's all I'm going to say for now. I, um, I am delighted to be able to share this. And if you want to know more about this emotional guidance system, start to listen to some of the teachings of Abraham. Uh, and that website is abraham-hicks.com. Take care. Bye for now.